Hello. Uh, well, YouTube isn't really my thing, so I haven't really uploaded any videos or anything. Look at that pimple. It's gross. Never mind. Don't look at it. I'll keep my finger here. Uh, so <laughs> this is kind of like an update on everything. I believe in my last video, I had just gotten implant on. It's a type of birth control. It's an implant. Um, it's good for three years. Uh, the procedure, I didn't like it because I don't like needles, but the only thing you feel is like the little numbing needle, and that's it, and then you just, it's, it's weird, you kind of feel the rod going in, like you feel the pressure of it and it's sliding in, but it doesn't hurt whatsoever. Afterwards, it gets pretty painful. My arm bruised really bad. You have to keep your arm wrapped. Well, I had to keep it wrapped for two days. Uh, it, I guess it all depends on where you get it done at, but overall, I'd say it was probably worth it. I will say, for all of you girls that are wondering about it, for me, it definitely screwed up my period, uh, but everybody reacts differently to it, but I like it. Right now, I don't even, like, you don't feel it at all. If you touch it there, you can feel the, um, the rod in there, but it's, it's not that bad. Uh, my snake bites. Obviously, they're completely healed. It's been a while since I had posted the video when I just got them. I got them at in Scranton at Exotic Body Arts in Pennsylvania. And the piercer there is amazing. He made sure that they were even and everything, and I, I love them. I like having them. Uh, and my boyfriend got me a promise ring. Isn't it cute? I like it. It says love there. And on the other side it says love too. It's both of our birthstones in the hearts. I like it. I was sleeping over at his house and he woke me up with the box open in his hand. And yeah. So I love it. So another thing I want to say in this video is I saw another video of uh, natural hair lightener. I I don't know if you can really see it, but my black has grown out maybe like down to here-ish. Like how it's a lot lighter up here than it is down here. If I went outside, you'd be able to see it really good, but it's pretty hot out. I don't I don't think I want to go out there. I'm kind of sweaty. I'm all shiny and everything. So yeah, it's the hair lightener. You have vitamin C tablets and you have to crush them up into a powder and you mix in lemon juice and normal shampoo, nothing colored or anything, just, you know, like practical shampoo. Uh, probably shampoo that isn't too strongly scented would work too. And I'm gonna try that. I'll post a video of the results later on. You see how my hair looks now. So, hopefully it'll work. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I have to wait for my Nana to get the vitamin C tablets. She works at a uh, medicine factory, so hopefully she'll be able to get me some. And as soon as I get them, I'll do it, and I'll show you the results. But yeah, you, you mix them all together after you crush the tablets in the powder, you put it all in like a bowl or something, and you make as much depending on how much hair you wanna put it in. Um, and it'll become like a, a pasty substance and then you put it in your hair just as if it were shampoo and you leave that in for maybe like a half hour to an hour depending on how dark your hair is it's annoying uh yeah it all depends and then hopefully it should work if not then I'm I guess I'm just gonna have to bleach my whole head be blonde for a little bit and then dye it a light brown but I've been waiting for over a year for the black to grow out and it's only like halfway there and I'm I'm sick of it I there's no way I'm waiting another year for that so uh, is there anything else so I'll post the results of that as soon as I get to doing it oh and I might be able to get my tongue pierced again that's good we got infected before but I don't know last time I just didn't have very good luck with it this time now that I'm 16, I can actually go to, like, a more reputable piercer. The piercer that I went to, he screwed up. 
my tongue, he made it a bit crooked. And my nose ring, well, not the ring, my piercing is crooked. Like, it goes in on more of an angle rather than straight through. Which makes it kind of hard to put in because once you get it through this hole right here, the inside hole, you have to, like, move it around a little bit until you find it and then put it in. Uh, it's kind of, it's not too painful, but it irrit it makes it red a little bit and sort of irritates it. Um, so, I don't want to go to him again. So I'm going to go to Mark's Tattooing in, well, in Pennsylvania. I'm sure there's more not in Pennsylvania, but that's where I am, so I'm going there. And I'll try and post a video of the healing process, because I know when I first got it pierced, I had a lot of questions about it, and so I'll try and post a video of that. I'll try and do it every day. If not, I'll do it like every couple days and like an overall thing. But yeah, I'll get the results of the hair thing in case anybody's wondering about it. And the tongue piercing. And I'll let you guys know. Bye.